All right, guys, welcome back to Turbo Time. Today, we're gonna be going over the data logs I've collected over the past couple of weeks on the Alibaba Manifold and how it performs and what to expect. Uh, we're also gonna go over the EVAP delete. I decided to delete the EVAP, although I initially kept it on there. It's been more trouble than anticipated to keep it. We're just gonna delete it, vent it to air. Um, this might not be for you if you uh, are somewhere where they have emissions and, and that kind of thing. Also, since it's venting to air, um, you could, it could smell like fuel in your garage. I use E85, I don't mind the smell of E85, but if you're on 93, you might wanna keep the system. I'll go over the partial delete that I did as well as the full delete that we will be doing now. So stay tuned, a lot of information coming your way. So initially what we chose to do with this manifold was go ahead and keep this top line. Um, and I ran the line that comes from the tank as well as the actuator under the manifold and we deleted the front portion of it that feeds back into the turbo. So now I will be installing a cap here and uh, a small filter check valve on the line that's coming from the tank. So that way it'll just be a vent to air uh, setup. All right, guys, we're back in the Supra. We're gonna get a few data logs and uh, collect some more data from this manifold. Right now, the outside temperature is 58 degrees. Um, car still warming up, we're just cruising. We're uh, gonna go get some fuel and uh, try to get in a couple of logs uh, as we're dialing in this uh, low pressure fuel pump setup. I gotta tell you guys, I've been very impressed by the performance of this manifold. Um, Right now, like I said just a few minutes ago, the outside temps are 58 degrees and our intake air temperature is at 64 degrees. So we are literally six degrees above the ambient temps while cruising along. We're gonna get this transmission up to temp and uh, make a couple of passes here. I'm gonna do a fourth and fifth gear pull. Um, and we will go over the uh, data that I collect there. We'll review the data logs together, um, but overall I'm very impressed. Um, holding at 64 degrees at a 59 degree ambient. Uh, it's just, it's a great manifold for the money. I haven't experienced any problems. Um, and I'm really looking forward to putting this thing on the dyno on Tuesday and uh, really seeing what it'll do. guys so we're back in the Supra it's about an 80 degree day today uh, we're gonna try to get one quick fourth gear log we're on our uh, fourth uh, revision here on our tune so we're gonna try to get a quick fourth gear and uh, we're gonna go over 
a lot of the data that I have uh, been able to collect over the last uh, few weeks on this manifold at different temperatures. So right now it's about 80 degrees outside. We're sitting at uh, 91 degrees air intake temp. Um, and we've been kind of slow moving, just creeping through traffic here. Right, we're gonna go ahead and get us uh, one more fourth gear log so we can send it out to Sumo. Uh, and I think we're we're pretty close as far as the revisions go. Uh, we were originally scheduled to dyno the car on Tuesday. Today's Friday. Uh, we had uh, a few issues that I'll go over with you guys. Not really related to this manifold, just things in general. Um, some troubleshooting with the uh, pump install and everything else. Alright guys, we're going to go over a few of these data logs and uh, see what the intake air temperatures are. We have the ambient temp at 75 degrees. Let's go back to before we were on throttle. And we have our intake air temperature at 93 degrees see what it does throughout this run most of these are fourth gear pulls some of them dip into fifth gear so we seem to be holding at 93 the top of it there it looks like we're at 95 97 100 On this run it settles on a hundred so went up seven degrees during that pull uh, ambient temp on this other one is 78 degrees let's again go back so starting air intake temp is 90 degrees here staying at 90 all right tops out at 97 as we're off the throttle goes down to 95 and as we continue off throttle here this log I stayed in it a little longer um, goes down to 93 This run ambient temp was 53 degrees. We got 68 as our starting intake air temperature. As we progress through the run. Seems to hold pretty steady at 68 maxed out at 72 and then back down to 70 as we stay off throttle. All right, 52 degrees ambient temp for this one. Let's go back to off throttle. Intake air temp 66. goes 
down to 64. It looks like it stays at 64. So ending on 64 for that run. Ambient temp 59. Let's go back to the beginning. Starting this one at 75. Going through the run. Goes down to 73 during the run. Back to 75. Peaks at 77. All right, guys. So in conclusion, was the Alibaba Manifold worth it? Yes. In my opinion, I absolutely think it's worth it for the performance gain and the dollar amount you get it for. It's miles better than stock, 100%. Um, I'm hoping to be able to bring you guys a good comparison with the CSF manifold. I don't believe it will outperform the CSF manifold. My question is, how close is it for a third of the money? Um, so I'm excited to bring you guys that stuff. We did reschedule our dyno day. I'm hoping to be able to dyno in the next week and a half or so. So be on the lookout for that video. As always, guys, if you like the videos, share, like, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one.